Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third state of my account video where I'm talking about uh, my progress that I made over the past month, what my status is, and what I am aiming for next. Uh, the last one actually got a comment from Dylar himself, so this is still a series that is inspired by his old series of uh, the state of my account. Um, so I'm glad I got implicit uh, acceptance or approval by not getting a negative comment from him. Uh, he, he's quit for a while anyway, so happy to keep doing it. First, I want to take a look at a couple. Okay, my dog went. <laughs> I want to take a look at a couple uh, things that I finished off since last time. Last time I was working on Inquisitors, um, getting them ready for the third sister mission. And as you can see, I do have them ready. I got these top five at Relic 7. I have an Omicron available, it looks like, uh, but I am not really a big Territory War Omicron guy. These ones are useless, so I'm not applying them. And so far, we've got 28 shards of Third Sister, so my guild is not flying through it, but we are getting some. For the very first one, we only had one shard. Uh, in the past couple, we've got just over 10. Um, I do want to show my mods on this team because it was a brand new team, and I wanted to go through how I actually modded it because... Um, I had to pull a lot of stuff away from other teams to make sure this was a ready, uh, ready to go. So the speed order, I have seven sister first. I got decent boost on her, 155. Crit damage because she's always assisting, so I do want some extra damage. And then balanced a little survivability with protection. Um, it's probably actually just on the circle, maybe. Um, but maybe a little more. I got some decent tenacity on her, uh, so I do have tenacity, a tenacity set. Uh, on the cross, I have tenacity. On the, well here, obviously crit damage and then speed. So she's pretty simple. Um, for fifth brother, he is next fastest. I like this view better. I have him at 324, so plus 328. That's not like one of my best sets, but it's still pretty good. Um, I really wanted the survivability on him, so I'm not thinking he's a major damage dealer. I just like survivability. In general, I think protection is my favorite primary because you can get the most out of it, even at five dots. Um, so when you're short on slicing mats, you want a lot of protection. And his crit chance isn't very good either, so he's not pretty much, just not a damage dealer. I want him to survive and do some support stuff like the spell. Next, we got Grand Inquisitor, and for an offense set, I have a lot of speed on him, at least for me. 140 with a no speed set, I think is pretty high. Uh, a little bit of health, that's the one circle mod, and then some po some secondaries. Um, decent offense, not quite a 10,000, the magical 10,000. I think a lot of people set that threshold. Uh, but I enjoy using him, I think he gets some good work done. Right now, I have him on defense, but that'll probably change. And also, oh, him and Fifth Brother are the Scythe Captains. And that is the, like, highest power ship in the game, for me at least. Um, that's the highest power, power ship on my roster, so it's at the very top. So that helps inflate my GP a little bit. And Eighth Brother is second slowest on the team. He's got some protection, okay health. Uh, all about the crit damage for him and whatever offense I can get. He's got great crit chance. Really like him. And then Nine Sisters, mainly just survivability. Uh, a little bit of speed, got 100 uh, with no speed set. And 138,000 protection. So, you know, you can do better, but uh, it's, it's what I got. And a little bit of armor on her. And that's not the only new team I got up and running fully since last time. I recently just finished Java the Hut. I finished Ultimate within hours of sign up for 5v5. So I'm really happy for that. I just put the last date on after lockout for this season, or this round. Um, so he's only at five for GAC right now. Uh, I don't know if I want to put him to eight because I'm kind of tight on materials and I'd rather pursue Afra first. Relic seven is good enough for his Datacron. Um, and I've just been using the three Marquis and Boba just because I have Boba pretty high. He's I think he's better than... Like Greedo, my Embo's not great, my Good Morning Guard isn't built up, so I'm just using him. I know experts are, don't want you to use him. And it's kind of interesting, I have the three marquees at Relic 6. It's because, you know, to me, Relic 5 is fine for most people because it allows access to Datacrons, it makes them decently strong. Um, but I need them at Relic 6 to be able to challenge the um, 
the second planet mission, I think it's Felucia, the Felucia mission in Revi uh, Rise of the Empire TB. Uh, so I need them to do that, but I stopped earlier than 7 because this last TB, I didn't have them at 7 yet, and I just used Han, Chewie, Beskar Mando, and Dash with uh, Jabba, and it worked just great. It worked so easy. So I was like, okay, I don't need to take them to 7 for that, so I can just hold off. So I actually started farming some Cantina farms. Uh, Kersan is definitely the one I'd prioritize getting, <laughs> and I know he has no 6 dot mods. I, I'm low on 6 dot mods, I just don't have a lot. But since they're all protection primaries, um, the primary itself isn't suffering too much, it's 0.5%. It's suffering a little speed, and you know, like the secondaries, the health, he's suffering from. So this is not a model of good modding for Kersantan, um, but it's just, I'm banking on, they're going to use the same counter they would anyway. Uh, Boosh, I mean, I got some good, some okay speed on her, but she is definitely not as high as she should be. I want to focus on new mods coming in, going to her. But my modding for this team needs some work. Uh, and Skiff, he's got a little bit of speed for an offense set. I need to slice his triangle, and eh, not, not super great offense. So he, everyone needs some work. This is a team in progress as far as modding goes. Uh, Jabba, I think I, I gave him what I want to give him. Uh, he's got good speed, some extra protection, plenty, or I said good protection, decent, good health, decent protection, great speed, plus 196. I think it's pretty great for him. And, you know, I think I'm fine with him. So I just need to work on the others. And now we get to my favorites. Um, Clearly, if you look, you can see that it's all the Dr. Afra characters. So I am working on them, and I am close to finishing up Hondo's stars. Uh, I I personally am a huge fan of them being in Cantina and being on a lower energy node. Even if it pushes off uh, signal data farming, I, I don't care. I love that I can get them fast, because anyone on hard nodes, like normal energy or ship energy, takes forever. Triple zero and BT1 are taking forever. Uh, although I am just doing single ref refreshes, I need to bump them up to double refreshes. So I'm going to do that soon because I should be able to finish Hondo and Santa by the time um, they'd be finished. Uh, but the the thing where I'm not rushing is because once I get Hondo up and Santa, I do need to do a lot of signal energy farming. And technically, I'm not wasting any time on these guys unless they are far from seven stars and I have plenty of signal data left over. But that's still my big bottleneck. I'm doing him first because he's more plug and play. I can just throw him somewhere and get use out of him. Whereas Santa, I need to do a little extra work to get a team going for. And I don't know. I, I'm not convinced that her team is better to use than any of the 22 I'm using in 5v5. 3v3, uh, probably I want to use her with Cara Dune and Stormtrooper Han, but I don't have Stormtrooper Han developed. I'm also really short on Zetas. Um, like, I do not have Zeta Mats. I have one left. Uh, Jabba got the last. I just, I'm always pressed for them. Um, and you might be wondering why I have Ewok Elder here. Uh, it's because I think Ewoks are the next meta, and I'm going to be prepping, starting, I'm just kidding. They are not the next meta, but I do think they will be required for a Galactic Legend. If it's like Endor Lair, it's an easy slam dunk that they're going to require Ewoks. And not the good ones. They're probably going to require, like, Tebow and Ewok Scout. Um, but I have him favorited just so I can request these because uh, I'm struggling a little bit on Bronzeums, not as much as, as I was before, uh, but that's why I have him there. And Vandor True, I, I always talk about him in the state of my accounts, so I just decide to farm his shards. They're, they're not gonna farm themselves. So uh, just doing that there. Zori, I haven't activated her. Um, she's not gonna be of use to me until I can get her at some relics, I think. I mean, yeah, like her kit's great, so she can work at uh, gear 11, but uh, to a degree. We can't use Datacrons, and also I don't have Zetas, so uh, not really focused on her yet. And the rest of my weak stuff, most of it's not remarkable. L337, still gonna be a while, because Canteen Energy. I don't plan on boosting up Kira and Young Han for. Uh, Rise of the Empire TB anytime soon. 
Um, I do think I might give some pre-gear 12 gear to ISC and Gar just to make their ships better. That's something I might be doing just to use the buildup of pre-12 gear that I have. Uh, for characters that don't require Cairo and our pilots, that's an easy call. Uh, which reminds me to look at this. So, since I had so much building up and Profundity is an important ship, I brought all my Phoenix to gear 12. I didn't give them anything above gear 12, but they definitely make the ships better. And the way ship power-ups work, it's like per gear piece added, it's a, like the same boost and then going up a gear level. On a character, it's way better, but going up a gear level for ships, it's not like a huge deal. And then relics aren't a massive deal as far as stats. I mean, they are, but like, it's still decent. It's still better to have some gear 12 pilots. Uh, Hera was there for profundity and Ezra. I had him at R5 for like a long time, even though I don't get that much use out of him. Uh, but yeah, these were, if you just have gear piling up and you still have weak Phoenix, maybe it's a good place to put it. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick pop in now on the scavenger to see what the state of my gear is, um, at least for relics, which is really important. I am low on carbonite circuit boards. Uh, this is on a node that I'm farming right now, so it is popping up a little bit, but I still am struggling. I, I try to use these down to like 30 uh, in case I need some to gear, and I actually ran out of some lower gear when I was boosting up my Dr. Afra characters, and I had to farm that it's easy because it's doubled but uh i i'm just really low on this stuff and i'm not gonna do what was that carbontes there like i'm not gonna do that stuff yeah carbontes here uh stankoffs only for one i know they're more prolific now but not an option and then bronze ams i'm farming that light side chirotech node again so since i'm finally done with dark side tickets that was kind of annoying because dark side nodes are not as good as light side nodes in my opinion so now I'm back to getting this, the best bronzium gear piece. And I do have a little bit of like a cushion. I, these are low, like these aren't going up much. Um, and I haven't converted in a little bit. Uh, these, there's some build up, but I like to keep these pretty high. And yeah, you know, if even if I convert all these, it like barely does anything. So like if I do 50 of this, no, three, that's not impressive at all. Chromium's never on a shortage. It's really easy with just these pieces that you can buy. Erodium's, I've also not really come into a big problem with them. Uh, I have recently uh, seen a shortage of my hollow projectors. I used to have tons stocked up, but with uh, bumping up a bunch of characters, the gear 12, I used a lot of them and then I converted some of these. And this is, I think, should be surprising to most people how many Electrums I have. This is something that I don't have a bottleneck on, and it's a very common bottleneck for people, but I still have tons of gear left. If I convert all this, I'm gonna get like hundreds of this stuff. And then it's like, I have 500, so it's it's not, it's not a shortage for me. Uh, and that's basically because of my shipment farming philosophy. I just get these with shard shop currency and not the gear 12 plus pieces because it's way better value. It's just as hard to obtain on node farming, but it's way cheaper in those shipments. And I've been farming this on the fleets while I was doing the uh, Galactic Chase for that uh, Iden ship, which is an awesome ship. Uh, but this is a bottleneck. I'm low on these. I have stuff for these, but I don't target gear eight very often. In gear nine, I mostly just neglect altogether. And speaking of shipment farming, uh, what I've been doing in the get store with get three, I switched to just doing pyrotechs because I was getting low. I have been doing zinbiddles or like impulse detectors or something, maybe the occasional micro attenuator, but now I'm just doing pyrotechs because it is the most efficient mathematically per, it's like the best value that you get considering what else you'd have to put in to get other stuff, because like Zimbiddles, this is only like 20, um, 20 pieces of stuff. I don't know, uh, this is actually is, is decent. Um, so that's why I did buy that before, but I'm low on Kyrotex, so I'm buying those. Uh, Gear 12 Plus still, mainly just Kyrotex. Uh, but for Get 1, I got cleaned out of these when I geared up job requirements, and I've only bought them with Get 1. It's not like I'm having get one pile up super high. So I was able to just focus on one single gear piece. 
and I'm getting this back up 360. So this is a very commonly, very often needed gear piece. So I'm glad I was able to focus that back up in a pretty quick amount of time. Ships, not too much to talk about except TIE Defender. Love this ship. Uh, I'm worried about the nerf. I don't want it to be too bad. Uh, but the damage is insane. The turn meter gains are insane. You get 60% turn meter here. Um, the foresight going around is great. The taunting, it's just a great ship. It goes so well with Thrawn and other such stuff. It, it, it's kind of hard because, I mean, Fatal made a video of how you can split your Empire fleets and use two that are really good. But if... In my opinion, if you're wanting to counter like a meta fleet, you can't use both. Uh, you have to pick one and just use it, stick with it. If you're in territory war and you're facing a bunch of like weaker fleets or um, or in Grand Arena, if you just set your best fleets, maybe you could do something with that, but I don't really feel comfortable doing a full split. Um, Raven's Claw, I'm slow farming. It'll get there eventually, but it's kind of funny that I caught up in the Galactic Chase almost to where I have Raven's Claw and I've been slow farming it since it got added to a node um i forgot to hoard right before the galactic chase started i just wasn't aware and it's hard for me to hoard anyway with energy because i'm like i'm not getting the energy that would generate automatically so maybe if i did that i could have seven star it but in my opinion it does just what you need at six star anyway now i want to look at datacrons um i set five hasn't really changed in the past few weeks or the past month. Um, I sit six. It's hard to just get it exactly where I can see all of them. Okay. I set six is mostly fleshed out. I'm spending the rest of this last conquest. I read great already. Just getting the uh, level two mats, I think. Um, the, the data cache is so slow. And I know I'm going to have some... Uh, data, uh, data cache coming from like territory wars and when I have to dismantle so I want to have some extra mats here so that I'm so I can use whatever excess uh, data cache that would be lost because you only have the cap of 30 million whatever would be lost I just want to make a couple upgrades on six when that happens so I'm going to build up a couple of those mats and then just leave some good data crons left to be sliced um, I mainly prioritize the turn meter uh, level 3, the tank revive level 3, although I like the Terminator one better, and I only wanted one level 9. I, I can't afford to build HK-47 or Imperial Probe Droid up to Relic 7 for this, so I'm not. Um, and that is a disadvantage to me, but it's just research management says I can't really afford doing it. Candorous would be easier to do. Uh, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I'm pretty stingy on bringing characters up to higher relics. Oh, real quick, Conquest check, I uh, got three days, seven hours left, I just finished Red Box. Um, the data disks I'm using, I have the exact formation that I recommended in my video. I got two Zealous Ambitions, um, two Ruthless Swiftness, two Entrenched, a Ruthless Offense, and Blindside. There it is. Uh, so this works really well. Um, some of the more annoying feats were actually pretty cheesable this time. Uh, for the Master's Training feat, I just did, even though it's not a Datacron node, I'm not getting any bonus from it. Uh, just for the sake of, sake of saving time, I did Jedi on this one and hit auto and got like uh, close to 20 Master's Training per time because Scare for Evil Pathfinder never dies if you get that buff on him. So you get him below a certain health threshold and he's an eternal zombie, you're gonna lose the match, so win it first and then go back and you get plenty there. Uh, for the Fracture, this is one that surprised me a lot. So like Third Sister is so durable that even when I still have my Zealous Ambition equipped, I could go in with a Thrawn team. I used Lord Vader on the team, but I actually later I didn't use a Lord Vader. I just had some normal um, Empire. And, like the Ho I got the Hokey Religions feat done. Um, and I was still able to survive with Thrawn Lee because you get so much turn meter gain and you can cycle through and fracture her a ton. You can get like over 10 because um, you just spam his uh, special ability so you don't damage as much as you can. I, I try to take out like Grand Inquisitor and then the damage dealers and then just focus more on the fracture. But with Thrawn, always just fracture her and she's so durable. It, it, it doesn't get through and you can really load them up there and plus with the extra time limit it's really helpful 
So that's it. That is the state of my account, February 2023. Uh, I'm happy with where I'm at. Only a couple newer characters to chase. I didn't think I'd be able to start chasing Dr. Aphra as soon as I am, but I will get there eventually. Uh, really enjoying it. Uh, really enjoying doing YouTube. And if you liked, thanks for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing. Anyway, catch you next time.